Hello everyone, welcome to another video. In this video, I will show you how to convert PSD or AI file into HTML using Figma or to turn it into a website using Figma. As you can see, I have already here a website that I created a mockup that I have in Photoshop, right? Now you can do the same in Adobe Illustrator as well. Now, first of all, what we need to do is we need to select all the folders or files here. We need to go to file and then export and then export as, and then we need to export this as SVG. So as you can see with SVG, I will have a couple of mistakes right here. As you can see this one and this one, you can see it's different, right? Less is more, it's, it's a little bit over the place, right? So what I can do is I can export this right now. As you can see, fonts may not render as expected, convert text to shape. So make sure that when you're exporting that everything is fine. If it's not, you can fix it in the Figma. So click export. Once you export, uh, go to Figma, open a new project. And what we'll do is we'll drag and drop that SVG here. Now, as you can see, we have our SVG right here. We can drag it right here. We have our layers here as well, which is awesome. And what we can do is we can actually go in uh, create a rectangle because this is a little bit messy. So we can create a rectangle here, make sure it's uh, white and make sure that we are sending it to back. Now we have this right here. Now what we can do is we can also play around uh, with this right here. Obviously you can play around with this however you want, right? Um, and again, it will, it will be like this. So let's say this is your website, right? Let's say you want to actually turn this into an HTML. So what you can do is you can go here, you can go uh, to your plugins and you can go and find more plugins and search for this plugin right here, figment.so. This is great plugin that will turn your Figma projects into websites and vice versa. So as you can see, go here, click run. And uh, once we click run, as you can see, um, here we can basically export the code also, as you can see, use this editor. So let's say we click this, right? And we can we can actually select everything, right? Um, you have five elements selected, any edits you will apply, okay. Now we have here, as you can see, the whole elements. We can also add effects, animations, medias, and links as well. And here we can just click export code. Here, as you can see, for this particular plugin, you will need to upgrade to Pro if you want to, um, you know, if you want to view the CSS and HTML, right? Um, or you can export full page as well here. You just need to select the frame and then you, you can uh, obviously upgrade to export. So this is a premium plugin, but you can do a lot of different things with it. For example, if you go here, if you go plugins, if you go to Figment again, uh, what you can do is you can select this again. And uh, here, as you can see, you will be able to publish this website, no code. So if you click publish, no code, here we can build and publish this website using this custom domain. So we can build and publish. And then as you can see, um, it will upload the images and everything, right? As you can see, we'll need to wait just a little bit and here we can click on it. And this is basically our page, as you can see. Obviously we haven't added anything right here, but this is our page, right? So you can do that with Figment. Obviously we have a lot of other plugins that can do exactly the same thing. So if you go here, find more plugins, um, you know, Figma to HTML. Yeah, as you can see, you have a lot of different plugins right here. I export Figma to HTML. We can run that plugin if you want here and we'll show you as well. Um, just a second, obviously until it loads up, right? As you can see, running Anima, export Figma to HTML. And here, as you can see, you need to obviously log in. And here with this plugin, you will be able to also do that as well. Now, obviously, there are a lot of other plugins, but this is what I use uh, primarily to, to do this, figment.so. I think it's $24 per month. Uh, if you want to create just one website, pay it for one month, and then you will be able to do this uh, without doing it manually, because manually, it's a really hard work. And without uh, doing it manually, you will be able to do it very, very fast. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and find it useful. If you did, leave a like down below. 
and comment down below for more tutorials on Figma and what tutorials you want to see. Thank you guys for watching.